Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm breaking down film on Charles Cross, left tackle from Mississippi State. Um, this is probably my favorite lineman in the draft. I don't know if I would rank him as the top guy, but he's definitely near the top. He's really athletic, really technically sound. I think he's the best in pass pro, and he can really make an impact on outside zone run schemes. So uh, let's get right into this one. Okay, so we got Cross right here. He's number 67. Um, just want to show him in pass pro right away. Just look at his feet. His feet are amazing. I'll play it once at full speed. Just amazing, amazing feet to mirror and match. Keeps a wide base the whole time. Run this back. I mean, he's lined up in a 4-I. Um, trying to get a little more power against him with these, like, defensive end types. Because he's really good versus speed. He has amazing feet. He fires out of his stance when needed to. But he's a good job of just staying under control. Amazing body control. He has good hand placement, one the high hand and the low hand. Good hip flexion. Bends the knees. He plays with good bend. He has burst. He has balance. And he has a good wide base. Like, that's the four Bs right there. Bend, burst, balance, and their base. So, yeah, really good stuff from Cross. A lot of people think run blocking is about, like, just moving people out of the way, displacing them, but... It's really just about positioning angles and cutting people off. Like, that's all you really need to get done. And Cross does a great job, especially on the backside of outside zone runs. Like, he's lined up, got a four eye lined up against him. Just watch this, like, at full speed. He's just able to cut him off, get his body in front of him. And that's all you can really ask from the left tackle here. I mean, he's really going to, like, those cutback lanes will be there for running backs on those outside zones because he cuts them off. And if they're overflowing the defense, he can they just cut right back inside of the edge so yeah I really like his fit as an outside zone runner I like him on the back side on the front side he can reach block he's got the lateral quickness he's got good technique he keeps his base his in run blocking he has a good base too plays with good bend good burst um just overall good technique and pass pro and verse and run blocking okay so let's watch this rep um cross does a great job Keeping his half man positioning. He does never oversets. He just keeps his good positioning. Just plays it the outside. Like when defensive ends try to get to the outside on him, he's just he's too quick. He has too good positioning. His body control and balance are amazing. Like he has the recovery skills too. Like number fifteen is a good young pass rusher, very athletic. And he just stops him right away. A lot of two hand strikes. I would like to see Cross work a little more variation with his strikes, you know. Throw the outside hand. He keeps that inside hand, like the drag hand, just in case this guy comes out and he can help the guard. So just smart play from Cross overall. So another outside zone rep from the backside. Just Cross does the exact same thing again. So we'll just watch this. Be able to just get out of his stance here. Good explosiveness, lateral quickness. Cuts him off, just puts his back right into the chest of the defensive lineman. Just able to cut him off so easily. This is where I really like him in the run game. Just... These outside his own runs. I mean, they're doing them in like these pin pull type of toss things, but you can just see how that translates to the next level in like those outside zone schemes. So like, like if he were to go to like the San Francisco types, the Titans, the Dolphins, even though Dolphins don't even have a first round pick, but he would fit perfectly in those teams that run a lot of outside zone. I just want to watch this rep to just show off his explosiveness. He's just like his feet to mirror and match. It's so good. Just explosive out of his kick step just he'll never get beat to the outside his body positioning is like a little off here just recovers instantly you can see the hips to just extend hand placement's really good to just stop this rusher and he sustains pretty well tries to work to the inside just has the feet keeps a good base the entire time keeps the defensive end in front of him just good job staying square good technique hands are good sustains Guys tries to work back to the inside, he stalls him. So it's always good when an offensive tackle is able to reset their hands because they're able to re-leverage. They can use it to anchor. They can use it for many different things to just be able to recover, basically. And Cross does it really well, like be able to reset his hands, win the leverage battle. Guy goes here, he has his hands high, resets to get the leverage battle because Cross, I would say his biggest weakness is probably his play strength. He has some shock in his hands, but... Overall, I think he's still growing into his frame, putting on the play strength. He's a young guy, so it can definitely improve his anchor and all that. But 
he does enough for me right now with the athleticism and the technique and pass pro. I know he had like the the lowest pass win rate against him, so just really good stuff from Cross. Okay, so all the clips I got today were versus Alabama and like Cross just was so good in this game. Like was never beat. Only a few examples of him maybe not showing the best anchor, but it wasn't terrible and he was working against twist and stunts all game, but it was just like so casual for him. I didn't I want to show all of them, but just let's show one here to show how he pauses this real quick. Instantly able to recognize that they're uh, working this stunt right here. Sees him cross inside. Boom, eyes, finds the guy. Gets himself into positioning. Really fluid and flexible hips here. Just boom, turn those hips. Stay square. Really good stuff from cross. Yeah, that was all the clips I wanted to show for cross. Um, really good player. One of my favorite pass protectors in the class overall you can use him on outside zone he's got good burst bend body control balance he's really just a freak of nature athlete he's technically sound um just basically all the things you want in an offensive lineman he can already knows how to recover reset his hands he can probably add a little more nuance to his with his hands but and maybe mixing up his sets but he's already pretty advanced at a young age so if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, that's cool. So peace.